Hi guys! So in this video, I'm gonna do a demo and review on a strawberry sponge hair curlers which are now very popular because they require no heat so it doesn't damage the hair at all and they're pretty cheap and comfortable. Seems like too good to be true. Let's go check it out! First things first, you will need a spray bottle to spray your hair before curling it into the sponge curlers. Next would be something to clip your hair, like the rest of your hair while you're doing the rest of your hair. Third one would be a hairbrush. Now fast forward to my demo. So I start curling the bottom half of my hair, separating it at the top of my ear and doing four sections of hair at a time. Always remember to spray a spritz of water on your hair before curling it into the sponge curlers. Also, if you want more volume on your hair, make sure to curl it inwards towards your face. Now to secure your curl, make sure to twist the sponge curler on the opposite side. Make sure to roll your hair nicely and evenly to prevent tangles later as you unroll every sponge curler. Now for the middle section of my hair, the next cut will be along my temples and I'm doing three sections on my hair this time. As I was doing my curls in this section, I kind of find it hard to roll my hair into the sponge curlers because they were too thick. So my advice would be if you have thicker hair, you should buy more of these sponge curlers. As for the top section of my hair, the same thing, I found it hard to roll my hair into the sponge curlers because they were too thick and they keep sliding off but I managed in the end anyway so yeah. One more thing, in this video I left the curlers on for 30 minutes but you can leave it on for a couple of hours like I did before. I did it 4 hours and the results were better. They were pretty comfortable so you will have no problem with it. Okay, so now right here you can see me unrolling every sponge curler and as you can see my hair is curled like after 30 minutes no heat I just did all my errands and this is the result as I've said earlier I had problems with the middle section and the top section of my hair that it was not holding on to the sponge curler so maybe that's why it wasn't really that curled at the top of my hair but I kind of worked it out now if you don't like tight curls as what this sponge curler did, you can always brush it down with your hands or a brush to give it more volume. That's it for my video guys. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Mwah.